subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends. So in this video we discuss how to perform a art poisoning attack. In a art poisoning attack, attacker provides some fake reply to their primary and secondary victims to poison their ARP table. Okay. So in this attack, if attacker send a fake ARP reply to their primary victim and in this reply it reply is to tell the secondary victim IP address and their own MAC address. So this computer make an entry in their ARP table like that IP address is the 133 and the MAC address is, is A4 but actually the A4 MAC address is the attacker's message. And similar thing the, the secondary victims it say the my IP address is 134 but 134 is the uh, victim one's IP address and tell their own MAC address. So this computer also make and in their ARP table. So let's suppose the victim one want to communicate with victim two. It sends some. It want to send. It, it's going to send a request. So it put the in the packets the source IP address, secondary victims, I mean the destination. The source MAC address it put their own MAC address, but it, it in the destination MAC address it check what is the MAC of 33. So it's look in the ARP table and put the E3 in the destination MAC address. But actually the E3 is the attacker's MAC address. So that packet will receive of the attacker machine. Then attacker machine can read that information and it forward to the destination by changing the MAC address. In the source MAC address attacker put their own MAC address and in the destination MAC address attacker put the destination server MAC address because attacker know what is the actual MAC address of primary and secondary victims and forward that packet to the server. So server receive that request, generate a response and in the response server put the s their own MAC address in the source and in the destination uh, server put the attacker's MAC address. So that response first of all receive on the attacker then attacker read that response if you, if you want to intercept that re response attacker can intercept and change the MAC address in the source MAC address attacker put their own MAC address in the destination address attacker put the, the uh, victim one's address and forward that packet to the requesters so like that attacker sit between the primary and secondary victims and watch all the communication that are happening this is a scenario of man in the middle attack. So let's see how to perform this attack. So I'm going to start a web server, a windows machine and a Kali machine as a attacker. So my IP scenario is like that. My windows 7 IP is 133. My server IP is 134. My attacker IP is 133. So let's start. So first of all I'm moving Kali Linux machine, let's verify the IP address. So my Windows 7 IP is 134. Okay, my server IP, let's check. My server IP is 200.133. And this is my Kali Linux machine. So, first of all, I'm going to enable the IP forwarding because I want to forward the packet that I received from the primary victim forward that packet to the secondary victim and secondary victims packet to the primary victims. So to do this thing I am going to execute a command in my Kali Linux machine is like that. Echo one and redirect this out. Enabling zero is for the disable, so I'm going to enable the IP forward. Done. After that, I'm going to perform the ARP poisoning. So we have a tool in the Kali Linux is ARP Spoof. If you do not have this tool, you can install apt get install this sniff. Okay, install this package, but I have already. So 
this is our tool and what is my IP interface so my interface is ETS 0 so I'm going to going to give a command arc is to minus I for Ethernet so my Ethernet is ETS 0 then connection I want to make a connection on both sides so both after that your primary victim so you can treat anyone as a primary and other one as a secondary so I'm treating the same one as a primary, so I'm treating the primary IP is to running 134, and my secondary is my server 128, Okay, so this is our actual command. Now I'm going to perform. So I just start the arm positioning on the both of machines. Let's look what is the uh, uh, let's check the arc table of the Windows 7. What is the IP of uh, what is the MAC address of uh, server in the arc table of Windows 7? So I'm going to execute a command is arc minus A. So there is the no entry, let's make the communication in the server. So I'm going to give it in the server. Okay, so it's pinging. Let's check the arc table again. So look at at the at this place you can check here at the this place you can find this MAC address is the Kali MAC address but the IP address is the server IP address so our ARP poisoning attack has been successfully executed so now we try to capture some traffic okay so the Kali Linux machine I am just minimizing this window and I'm going to start the wire server Start your wire sock on Ethernet. Okay. And here I'm going to put some filter. I want to just capture the traffic. I want to just see the traffic between the 133 and 134. So put IP dot ADDR equals to equals to your victim's IP address. web server is other side of your network then you can use your router IP address as a secondary victim ok so we make a filters now let's suppose your victim doing some communication with their server so let's start to do some communication with the server this one and I check all the traffics so there is all the communication so I'm going to put here another filter I just want to check the HTTP traffic so I put here HTTP so you can see all only HTTP traffic here so all the traffic is there okay so I'm just right click here page so provide the response for the login page then your computer okay there's CSS file there's some other files there's some image files and there your computer make a login but uh, so in our first login we put a, a wrong username and password we put the um, username and password in the same field so it's a failure field 
and this is your right login so your username is admin and the password is password and login okay so like that you can capture the traffic and you read the traffic who's actually a victim making the communication with the server so you can log in using this username and password of the server let's try to log in with server like that you can perform the r poisoning attack but the r poisoning attack using the r poisoning attack you can capture the all type of protocols but you can read only plain text protocols like the http telnet r logins imap smtps okay and to protect from the r poisoning you must enable a secure protocol like the https at the place of the telnet try to use the sss at the place of the ftp try to use the sftp or ftps okay so thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates